While officials say the building mostly sustained smoke and water damage, and now 22 adults and three children are receiving assistance from the Red Cross. More than 24 hours after a fire broke out at this three-story building on Cranston Street, those who live here are still without a home. Jamie Wewell lives down the street and says she knows one of the people displaced. He's doing okay. It was just a big, big scare. Officials say the structure is made up of a business and apartments. This was the scene Saturday evening, about 45 firefighters working to put out the blaze. There's a lot of families here, you know, and I feel sad for them. You know, because they, the majority of the people lost a lot of things in the, in the house. 12 News spoke with one resident Saturday afternoon. He did not want to show his face on camera, but tells us about what he saw when he heard the fire alarm go off. I saw the smoke and I de determined or noticed that it was coming from the floor. But then when we came out, we saw the smoke coming from the roof. Deputy Assistant Chief Robert Butler says it took about 45 minutes to get the fire under control. Made entry through the side one and uh, found visible fire on the second floor, started knocking it down, and then it made its way up into the loft area because of the structure of the building. He says the flames made their way up into the loft area. Because of the construction of the building, it's a balloon frame, uh, the fire travels very rapidly through there. It's unclear how long those who live here will be displaced. Officials tell us no one was injured as a result of this fire and the cause is still under investigation. In Providence, Lauren Brill, 12 News.